now in module number 11. Can you believe it? Oh my dog, we have really gone very fast and I hope that you all have been taking advantage of these modules and applying everything that you find useful in your own uh, installation, in your own facility. Uh, we are going to talk today about a subject that was suggested to us through our emails that we get from all our, our viewers in YouTube. And this is about time. Time is a critical element in lean manufacturing. All lean activities can be measured only through time, right? And one important thing that we need to start doing is being very punctual. Because by being punctual, we are going to assure the utilization of our time and the utilization and respect of the other people's time. All right? So let us keep going on this, and we are going to analyze several times here. Today, then our first discussion is on, uh, on uh, the KPIs. The KPIs, or Key Performance Indicators, all of them have something to do with time. From the departure to the completion of any improvement, no other way can we measure that performance and productivity than with time. So, uh, there are several parameters where we must understand the use of time. Lead time will be the first one. Lead time is uh, all the time that we need to, to produce something from beginning to end. From when we receive an order to the time that we deliver the product completely finished. That is lead time. And uh, we all want to reduce that lead time because the more efficient our lead time, the better, the faster we will be delivering. And most customers perceive this prompt delivery as a better service. And we all want to be perceived as giving a better service to our customer. Now, uh, the lead time needs to be measured as I said, in pre-production and in production. In both areas, we can produce improvements. We can reduce times in, you know, when, when uh, the sales department receives an order, uh, we can definitely uh, reduce the time, the paperwork and all that, so that uh, we can pr proceed with the order in our production area. And the uh, same thing in production, we need to, to find ways to produce the flow of product so that we very soon are reducing our lead time. Uh, lead time, of course, uh, needs to uh, be related to cycle time. It depends directly of cycle time. What is cycle time? Cycle time is whatever we need in time to produce something, some procedure, to complete some procedure inside a workstation. So we want to improve the cycle times of each and every one of our processes. And uh, this will be increasing the flow. Remember that we talked about flow. Lean manufacturing is all about flow, about producing quick quick movements so that everything is produced in a uniform flow. When we measure each cycle time, we can balance and improve each workstation. And this makes our process more efficient. And what we want, of course, is that those cycle times uh, allow us to produce our, to produce and to measure our plant capacity. This will let us define if we can comply or not with tacked time. That is next in our explanation. So it is critical that our cycle times are good and if they are not we need to work into balancing those processes if you, for example, have one workstation that is taking longer to do their work, well, we need to find close by other stations that probably have little time, fewer uh, minutes or fewer seconds of operation to do the process. 
So we ask those guys, hey, help us please here. We, we, we want to ease the, the job in this station that is overloaded. And they will help us to advance some operations. And if that is not possible, we will probably need, as we have done in many companies, we have, a, we have a find, found the need to duplicate one station. So let's say that we need to produce something in 50 seconds. Well, uh, it is taking almost two, two minutes. Well, if it's taking almost two minutes, what we need to put is two different stations working in the same operation so that they will flow at less than one minute. We want 50 seconds. And I mention 50 seconds because that is what we are going to analyze as an example of tack time. Well, what's that tack time? Tack time. <laughs> well, tack time is about the metronome, you know, metronome in, in, the, in the music, uh, when you're producing music, you need to follow the rhythm, right? Well, the rhythm is measured by a tack time, tack time. So that is the metronome that, that the musicians use. We are going to use that thing too. Tack time is going to be calculated uh, in our process uh, by analyzing what is needed to comply with the demand. And how can we calculate that tack time? It's very simple. Uh, divide all the available time that you have into the minutes of seconds and then divide that by the number of units you need to produce. How about that? That's simple, right? For example, tack time uh, to produce 1,000 units in two shifts. Uh, our availability in those two shifts, say it is uh, 14 hours. So in those 14 hours, what we have is 14 times 60 times 60, meaning a total of 50,400 seconds. 50 times, 50, 50, 50,400 seconds divided by 1,000 units. Very simple, our tack time is 50.4 seconds per unit, meaning that not one of our operation or workstations can exceed in their, in their cycle time the 50.4 seconds. It, as I said, we need to balance or do whatever, reinforce the operation, whatever, so that not one of your cycles is beyond the 50.4 seconds. I think that's simple. Yeah, okay. Now, we are ready to help, of course. In some cases, we have needed to design a new procedure in order to balance that. You need some balancing, talk to us. We will be happy to, to help you. Now, uh, the most critical and the most, the, the most fatal of all times is downtime. Oh my God, downtime is terrible. We should never take downtime as something acceptable. Never. Use your creativity. Reduce or eliminate the downtime. That will be great. And yeah, that, that will give you peace of mind and you will be able to comply with all your purpose. Now, my friends, I will be very happy to add more subjects and modules to this series. And I will be listening to your feedback. It's important. Let me know every, every time that you feel that you would like me to explain something, I will make a video for you because that may be useful for others. How about that? We will soon start our maintenance series. Oh, that maintenance series is going to be very good going to be very useful. Uh, if you are not exactly connected to maintenance yet, uh, probably some of your peers need to pay attention to that series because we're going to explain it. I, I call that series Maintenance from Zero. We are going to start from, from the basics and we will keep evolving and explaining details of every single feature of the maintenance. Maintenance is today one of the most important disciplines in the manufacturing process.
I thank you very much. And uh, of course, remember that we have a little button up here that says subscribe. I suggest that you subscribe to our channel because that way YouTube will for free let you know every time that we have a new material up online. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon.